Well, hi, this is Pete King, and I am actually standing in a condominium at Indigo on Perdido Key. And I wanted to bring you this series of information about what it's like to live in a condo. What are some of the responsibilities? What are some of the privileges? What are some of the benefits? And so today we'll call it Condo 101. What is it like to live in a condo? First thing you need to know is that condo living <clears throat> is basically sharing of amenities and responsibilities. It's apartment-like living, as you can see. I'm standing in the kitchen, very apartment-like. You see another room behind me, and we are on the 20th floor in Indigo. Very typical setting. What you need to know then are there are high-rises, there are mid-rises, and there are low-rises as far as the building complex itself. In many cases, there's even townhomes, that is, kind of row homes, sixplex, eightplex, two or three stories that are co-joined by a common wall. So all of this is part of condo living. The great part about condo living is that you can put a condo anywhere so that the amenities and the benefits can be as varied as the building itself. You might be able to live on the beach, live on a golf course, live in a boater's condo in the backwaters like the Intracoastal or the Bay, or just live even in an urban setting like downtown Pensacola. So let's talk more about condo living. Well, with privileges and benefits that come with condo living also come responsibilities. A lot of these are laid out in what's called the condo docs, basically rules and regulations of how you're supposed to live in this kind of communal atmosphere. So, for instance, you do have to insure your condo. You want to insure it for contents anyway, but you have to make sure that you include liability insurance. Another one is to provide access, so you give up a little bit of your privacy if the maintenance folks, for instance, need to come into your condo, or the HOA needs to come in and do an inspection, maybe check on water lines or something like that. Another responsibility of condo living. And then you have to adhere to certain architectural guidelines. And any kind of modifications that you make, you have to clear with the homeowners association. And then finally, what everyone knows about condo living is there is a condo fee, often called an assessment, where you pay a monthly fee in order to enjoy all these privileges and benefits. Usually it comes also with the payment of certain utilities like garbage, water, and sewer, maintenance of the grounds, maintenance of the pool facility if there's a pool, if you're on a golf course, maybe maintenance of some of the golf course facilities. So all these things are spread out uh, with assessments. And then sometimes if there is a special project within the condominium, there may be special assessments. So with benefits, with amenities also come responsibilities in condo living. So we've talked a lot about condo living now, and I am actually sitting in the lobby of Indigo West, one of the buildings here in the Indigo Complex. We've talked a lot about sharing, sharing responsibilities and sharing benefits when you live or live part-time in a condo. One of the shared experiences is the social interaction. You're going to spend a lot of time with other people learn about your neighbors and enjoy their company as you enjoy condo living.